Well, there's nothing better than when you get stuff that comes in original boxes and all nicely laid out and original manuals and basically original paperwork for warranty and uh, this is the original owner. Um, I actually know the owner quite well um, and uh, this has been uh, his since absolutely brand new and I, I just love stuff like this for what we do. Um, as you'll remember the Kenwood TS480 HX came with like a double power cord uh, being the uh, 200 watt version you got a lot of wire for your money you know sort of and you even got two <laughs> connection points to uh, cover the enormous couple hundred watts which you know was always good all right instead of me just unpacking like this let me get it out and um but as you can see original box as i said this is a one owner and um we love one owners <laughs> they're um they're always always cool okay so just quickly hooked this uh, little fella up um as a habit i tend to default every um radio that comes in here it's just a habit of mine it gets me back to you know standard settings etc and um uh <laughs> i i pulled out um i pulled out the big gun for this one i thought what the heck uh this is the um uh, manson i think from memory i'm trying to remember now bought this so long ago from lee moore like the first time i've ever used it um this particular one anyway qmac sorry um even put my name on it. <laughs> Good on you, Lee. Um, first time I've powered this one up. Um, not to say I haven't had them before, but um, uh, let's just have a look. Uh, just on FM carrier. 220 watts. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's um, what I would sort of suggest. Um, I can't run this one into my test monitor because, of course, um, we've got a 125 watt dummy load in that thing. So unless I want to make that sort of go um, uh, bang, not so good. Uh, but um, as you can see, these things do some real power. They really do. It's, um, yeah, look at that. Um, I know they used to cut them back a bit on sideband. Uh, there were different sort of settings you could uh, put them on and, uh, and vary your sideband power. And I think you could, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it senses when it's got both power leads on uh, so it can do 100, 200 watt uh, mode. But um, when, it, uh, when it starts up you'll see it comes up and actually tells you what mode it's in the twin power lead uh, shows there so um, yeah these things are really you know sort of a powerhouse um, uh, the only complaint I've got about this so far and bear in mind I've had it on for minutes um, it's had a repair on the um, connector here um, I would advise you know that it needs to be redone um, it's, it's I mean look it's working what they've done there but um, quite seriously uh, for the sake of just putting another connector on there probably a good thing to do but um apart from that uh, no look you know um e extremely clean i was having a bit of a look and you know very well apart from the marks i've just put on it with the uh, meter um but uh, very very nice clean radio now if i could just manage not to transmit too much um uh, i'll uh, maybe set the menu to the power level and see if we can change that power level out for the purpose of testing it on my monitor let's put it at 100 watts so we don't blow up the monitor hopefully okay so back and let's just verify that's about right 107 watts to what they say is 100 watts which one's accurate which one's not um you know uh, probably a mixture of somewhere in between the two all right let's feed a signal in i've had a bit of a revamp i've put me a little ifr 500 in there and also the uh, 2001 just next door to it and just been doing a couple of it helps me just about a keep things on one side of the bench and one on the other not at the moment a bit of a mess there but anyway uh let's have a look at this receiver be very curious right uh, we're just feeding in a um 0.5 a microvolt uh for you those of you that it's uh, love dbm uh, about minus 113 dbm absolutely crystal clear noise free which is what i'd expect minus 123 still hearing the tone beautifully minus 133 or 0.0499 yeah it's, it's in there a bit noisy but obviously passing its 0.5 of microvolt test by a mile is so solid it's not funny and obviously as we crank that up a bit we'll just go full scale so yeah good receiver now get rid of that noise and um i just want to clarify that 
One, two, 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 one, two. Yeah, isn't it funny? Uh, that shows this meter here is reading a little bit high. This here is reading about right because we're just about on the nose at 100 watts there, 99.2. Um, and uh, pretty happy with that. Let's give it a quick run on the sideband just for the hell of it. Hello, hello. And I've got that mic gain turned way down, I can tell, um, just at the moment, the way that I'm driving that. Um, I might just have a little play. And as you'll see, yep, mic gain set at 40. Uh, so into menu, just off the mic key there. And basically just wind her up. I'll just the hell of it, take it up a bit there. Um, keep in mind, uh, the analyzers are not exactly a PEP meter either, which, uh, but a little bit of mic gain won't hurt. So um, let's just have a look there. One, two. Oh, yeah, okay, straight away. Hello, hello. Oh, I just can't whistle to save my life at the moment. Uh, but this um, certainly is is percolating. Uh, it probably is a little touch of ALC cutting in there too because we're restricting it to 100 watts. It may be sort of reading that a little bit um, like it doesn't want me to do quite so much. Um, and I'm a little bit weary. I'll, I'll take the power up a little bit. Um, but I'll just not go too crazy on that. Hello. Yeah, as you can see, um, I won't go too crazy. Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah, my meter's having trouble sort of uh, tracing that, um, which is not unusual on sideband for us. Often... Uh, and I better knock that if I'm going to go back to FM. Just to give you an idea, 125 is the max that you should put through ever on one of these. We'll just have, it'll, it'll stop at 124.9. So 122.6 there at 125. So, yeah, look, it's, it's fairly close to what I would expect. Um, certainly the... Um, um, PP on the sideband with a proper PP meter would, would read a lot better, but um, yeah, it's certainly getting lots and lots of power out. Um, definitely, if you're putting these onto a monitor, just be careful because once you take them up to this sort of level here, um, uh, look, I could give you a quick burst and show you what happens. Hello, one, two. See that 124.9? Hello. Wouldn't want to do that too many times, I can tell you. Uh, they, uh, they do not like it. Um, but 124.9 is the most that a uh, R2001 will, will read out to. Look, you know, um, this is a, a very sensitive radio. Um, uh, I think it's nice that it's, you know, box books, etc. cetera. Um, and certainly um, uh, seems to be, you know, sort of doing everything it should be doing quite nicely. Um, just trying to think if I've got an antenna. I'm trying to think what we've got run into here at the moment. I'll let, just let me have a little look. Okay, I've just had a little scour around um, 20 metres and there's uh, not much happening pretty sure I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure which antenna we're on i think we're not on the wire i think we're on a um a 10 meter vertical um now uh, this radio won't go outside of the amateur bands so you know bar 28 490 there's not much else you could really sort of test up that end uh let's just have a little look if we go down sometimes this uh, if it's the vertical can hear a bit better on um 40 meters well not great but let's have a little listen see what we've got Got a bit of a storm coming in too, actually. Been sensing that for a while, just the static and bits and pieces. Yeah, no, look, this antenna is terrible. Um, and you can hear those static bang crashes and that, etc. at the moment. Um, with these two, you do have a preamp as well. So you can go attenuate and preamp. So if we're on preamp, then we might actually hear a little bit more. is noisy today very noisy that shift sounds a bit better there shift was in completely the wrong position let's just see if someone comes up here we are definitely not on a 40 meter antenna <laughs> that's uh, Colin VK4 PDX and I can hardly hear him if we
Let me just go connect to a 40 meter antenna. Oh boy. Remember I said there's a storm coming in? <laughs> That's on a 40 meter antenna. Uh, still just a 40 meter wire. But um, I just had to have a look at what we had fed into this room at the moment. And uh, this is just a, well, it's a oh, random wire. Seems to tune right here. Jeez, I'll tell you what. VK3 Charlie Mike, VK3 CM. Wonder if any of you guys are hearing us? Yes, I don't like the, the sign of this SWR. Oh, <laughs> I'm, hitting the, I'm hitting the AT button. Uh, a bit of a lesson for me too. The 480 HX doesn't have the tuner, has the 200 watts. I'm sitting there thinking, how come the antenna tuner? I'm so used to having uh, the, um, the uh, standard SAT model. So the SAT stood for 480S for 100 watts, AT for antenna tuner. 480 HX is uh, HX for high power. I'm not sure of the time right now. I haven't got a clock in here. I'm just trying to think whether this is the candle snap, or we might be a bit early for that, and it's just a couple of boys talking. But gee, there's some noise. I'll just got the band a bit. Much better. Uh, VK3 Charlie Mike for a very quick test. Sorry, sorry, what was that, John? I think we had a couple there. You said something, John, and I missed it. VK1 CJ. You yeah, might have been me, Victor Kilo 3 Charlie Mike, was it? Uh, Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Victor Kilo 3, Charlie Mike. Roger. Yeah, yeah, OK. Thanks, Paul. Right, I reckon it's probably quite appropriate for you to transmit now. And if you'd be good enough to put it back to me, my name's Dave. I'm VK7OB, and uh, I'm, I'm guiding the sheep tonight. <laughs> All right, uh, good to hear you. I don't, I don't think we've worked before. As I say, my name's Dave. I'm about 3,000 feet above sea level in the centre of Holmes of Tasmania, a little holiday home. Anyway, thanks for joining us, VK3 Charlie Mike, VK7OB, Good on you, VK7OB, VK3 Charlie Mike, and yeah, just doing a bit of a quick test here, but um, I won't hold it too long, um, but uh, just wanted to uh, say howdy, and you're coming in beautifully here, uh, 20 over 9, a uh, little bit of preamp on, on there, but uh, yeah, just want to get a quick report from you, and then I'll get out of your way, but thank you very much. Yeah, okay, what was the name, please? Uh, Brenton, Boston Radio Echo, November Tango, Oscar November. I'm too used to doing it too fast, you're right. Uh, yep, Victor uh, Kilo 3, Charlie Mike, uh, name is Brenton, Boston, Radio Echo, November, Tango, Oscar November, Brenton. Uh, back to you, go ahead. Oh, OK, Brenton, OK, sorry, Brenton, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it, was, it was a little bit too quick for me, mate. All right, you're making it through, and it's lovely to be able to hear the VK3s. Uh, boy, gee, it's uh, they've been laying on the, on the ground for a long time, Brenton. Okay, we're going to be here for another 10 minutes, quarter of an hour or so. But, uh, yeah, my name's Dave. Uh, my wife is Marilyn, BK7 Fox Mike Alpha Zulu. And we're sitting up here at a place called Penstock. We're going into Central Island of Tasmania. Oh, you yeah, know, what have I got to comment on? Gee, that's bad news about George. All right. But, um, now, something I just want to do is go up the band a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, actually, the processor, when you see that, oh, that pushes it a lot harder. Absolutely. Um, as, uh, now, this... The only thing I'm a little concerned on, I don't want to transmit too long on this one, uh, is that the SWR may not be quite uh, where it, it should be. Look, I don't think it's astronomical, but um, I think we're seeing a bit of foldback, you know, just onto this antenna. Um, so just very much of a short, quick test antenna, this one. But having a bit of a listen around, um, we're in for a noisy night tonight. Definitely in for a noisy night certainly has been uh, a lot of crash bang and outside does look a little bit like we're in for uh, in for just that all right well look this has been a bit of a look at the old uh, TS 480 HX certainly receiving beautifully um, 
and it's a pity we've just got so much noise. Nice little radio. Well, they're not a little radio. They're actually quite a sizable radio, <laughs> but uh, certainly um, well worth you know getting your hands on one if, uh, if one comes up. All right, that's the 480 HX. I'm going to do a couple little things with it just before I um, sort of pack it back in the box. Um, I just want to go through the menu settings. There's a couple of menu settings I know I've got wrong at the moment. I just want to probably get them a little bit more um, fine-tuned, but apart from that, pretty happy with it. All right, 73 is all the best from VK3, Charlie Mike, JDW229, Tangambalanga, Northeast Victoria, Australia. Please subscribe and hit the bell and all that sort of stuff. Cheers all.